closes, it was closed against us, not for us, because of that gap. So we have to do a lot in order to close that gap. And uh, I would even define the relationship under the radar screen, an amazing relationship. On Iran, on defense issues, counterterrorism, and everything that goes above the radar screen on the public domain, very, very problematic. And it's problematic, and here I'd like to uh, say something, because uh, in Coletta Vital, who was not only our ambassador to Portugal, not our con only our consul general in New York, but when I was a young cadet in the foreign ministry, she headed uh, the training department, the foreign office, and uh, she produced a couple of uh, youngsters who uh, got, uh, did a lot of damage since then. <laughs> She's an amazing diplomat and uh, is a front line in the Labour Party. And I had uh, sometimes not that, uh, to get a grilling from her, the Israeli Knesset, not once and not twice as permanent under secretary of Israel's foreign service. But we are talking about the, when we try and really uh, explain and, and, and uh, this honey, in the sense, uh, talked about it on the issue of uh, scientific relations or cultural relations. It took us more than three years to sign a film agreement between Israel and Britain. Only because of political issues don't pertain to this government, but the former government. Science cooperation is amazing. We should do much for it. Why is it important? And his, here is Baroness Greenfield sitting and can tell all about and can tell all of us about that. The minute you have a uh, John from uh, Cambridge working with Chaim from a uh, Weizmann Institute, there won't be an academic boycott because there's merit to that relationship. But if we really look closer into this and we take Birex, for example, on something that we really enjoy and we something that would make a difference which is the British-Israeli scientific cooperation, what do we see, truthfully? We see that except for seed money given by the government, most of the funding to this is being done by British citizens of Jewish origin. There's not even one pound put in there by someone else. Why? Why is it important only to in certain directions? And this is something that uh, Matthew Gould, the ambassador, is pushing very, very strongly. We're trying to do that together. This is something that I would, would think would bring people together on both sides because there's a lot of things to bring together. 